It is now my honor to ask Sharon McDonald, class of 1986, who will present the Distinguished Alumni Award for Outstanding Young Alumna to come forward. Thank you. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the 2012 Outstanding Young Alumna Distinguished Alumni Award to Kate McAvoy. This is Don Zick. I never say your name right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no one does. I know. <laughs> All right. I'm among friends. Kate is so accomplished. Following her graduation from Worcester State back in 1995, just a little, little while ago, she was recruited by Admore Incorporated, one of the nation's first multi-specialty trade show marketing agencies, of course. In this role, she created marketing strategies and campaigns to support large-scale trade show clients, including Texas Instruments, America Online, and UPS. While she enjoyed the job, she was traveling quite a bit, and she wasn't quite sure that this is what she wanted. She really wanted to be part of the uh, Central Mass business community. Missing Worcester, she found her way back, and she returned to her roots, coming to work at Worcester Business Journal as a senior account manager, and then later at Worcester Magazine. By 2002, Kate's experience and success brought her to Fallon Community Health Plan, where she served as Senior Director of Government and Community Relations until just recently, about May of 2011. Today, she continues her journey as an outstanding business leader as the Vice President of Central and Western Massachusetts Markets at Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare. Your titles keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> the paychecks don't. Oh, all right. <laughs> Kate, your successes, they're so impressive, and they continue to grow. I can remember when we met on the Alumni Advisory Board, serving together, and I was always impressed by your enthusiasm, your energy, your dedication at such a young age. They were definitely unmatched by anyone else on that board. Sorry, but she's just an amazing woman. I really, I really was impressed by the work that you did as a committee member on the Hospitality Committee, helping to create the social... Um, by major event, and I knew, I'd always knew that if you gave as much effort to your career as you did to making that event a success, that you would be something special, and here we are tonight. In the last 17 years from graduating from Worcester State, you have accomplished so much, and certainly represent the best and the brightest of our alumni. Please join me in congratulating our 2012 outstanding young alumna, Kate McAvoy Zanantic. <laughs> We've been joking that the best part of this is that it says young on it in writing and it will stay saying young forever. So um, I'm 38, I've got like two more years of this young thing, so I'm embracing it big time. Um, this is pretty overwhelming, I have to say. Um, first of all, I didn't realize I sounded that good on paper. So uh, I was kind of looking around the room trying to figure out who you were talking about. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's. Uh, it's me. Um, so Sharon, thank you so much. I was, um, Tara will tell you, where's Tara? Right there. She could have knocked me over with a feather when she called me and said, we, we're giving you this outstanding alumni award. I was like, I'm kind of a goof, are you guys sure? <laughs> and she said, no, and, you know, we were so excited. I was so excited. And, and uh, my husband and I were out to dinner. And so I said, well, I guess we need to have more drinks because, you know, this is really something special. So thank you very much, um, Sharon. And Tara and Tom, President Maloney, and to the Worcester State family. I mean, this this is a very, uh, very meaningful award to me. Um, I want to congratulate the fellow recipients tonight. Um, then we had a short time talking. It was it was a good time. Todd, so very accomplished. Steve, what can I say? Poor Steve, um, on the Boy Scouts and the Boy Scouts uh, CEO Fallon Eric Schultz, who I reported to was president of the board of the Boy Scouts, which meant that I got to be president of the board of the Boy Scouts. <laughs> and uh, we went through a very intensive strategic plan and fund development plan process that took about three years. And uh, Steve survived me, which few people do and still talk to me afterwards. But he, he made it through the McAvoy treatment, so there you go. But thank you all, and, and congratulations to the honorees. 
So, you know, I, I just wanted to say a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, I absolutely love Worcester State College, and I am going to call it Worcester State College because it kind of will always be Worcester State College to me, even though it's a university. Um, I love my time here as a student. I met my husband Gary here. Technically, I think we were at Leach Rooms, but we did have classes together, so it, it should count um, as Worcester State College. My mom graduated from here. My dad went here. I probably wouldn't be here if they didn't both go here. I went to preschool here. Um, so, it, and not as a college student, they had a preschool. <laughs> I mean, I was smart, but not quite that smart. So, um, it was... You know, there's a lot of ties here. I actually went to Main Street School for grammar school, so I was like right next door the whole time. So talk about not going far from home. So, you know, Worcester State has very great meaning to me. And, um, and, and I apologize because every time there's a microphone in front of me, I have to start talking about the cost drivers of healthcare, which is like a two-hour conversation. So I am forcing myself to not get into the medical trend and whatnot, so just bear with me. <laughs> so I've been thinking a lot about tonight, and I'm trying to pinpoint what do I want to convey, what do I want to say about Worcester State University, about this really, again, very meaningful award that I'm, I'm very proud, I can't believe you guys are still giving this to me. In fact, I'm going to probably put that in my bag so you can't take it back on my way out. Um, for those of you who do know me, and I have a, a number of friends here, um, I want to thank my friends the March of Dimes and, Pat, and Regina, Patty, and Ed, and Galen for coming tonight. That is very nice of you and my family for coming tonight. Um, and those guys know, but maybe you guys don't. I never really pictured myself staying here in the central Massachusetts market when I graduated, or I should say for my professional career. Um, I loved Boston, I had planned to be in Boston, you know, that was kind of my dream. And circumstances changed literally a couple weeks after I graduated from high school. And some needs arose within my family and I needed to stay here in central Massachusetts, in Worcester. So I enrolled at Assumption College over that summer. And I went there for my freshman year. And it is a very fine institution. It's a wonderful place to be. They have great, great programs, great curricula. I just didn't belong. And I was devastated. And part of that challenge was that I was a very social person, very enthusiastically involved in the community. And as a commuting student who had all these responsibilities at home, I just didn't fit in. So over spring break that year, when I you know, was kind of going, what is this weird feeling? Oh, yeah, I'm unhappy. I'm not used to this kind of thing. I uh, talked to my mom and I talked to my dad. I said, look, I want to go to Worcester State College. I just think it's a better fit for me. And so they agreed, and I started here in September. And honestly, on my first day, I walked out of here going, I, I mean, you guys have a billboard up that says I found my place. I mean, I truly found my place. I felt so at home. It was just the right place to be. And again, the demands that I had in my personal life really made me more of a non-traditional student than the other folks at Assumption. But here... You, there were a lot of non-traditional students, and there's something more to that. So as I've been saying, I've been thinking and thinking about that. What, what was it? And that's just not thinking for tonight. This has been thinking over years. Why did I feel so at home? What was it about Worcester State? What, what made it the right place to be? So this is what I've come up with. And um, at least this is what I, I can attribute to my own connection to this institution and why I think I loved it so much, and I still love it to this day. Um, I think we know that Worcester State brings great value in terms of value for your education. But what I believe is that it also teaches all of its students value intrinsically, values intrinsically, which, which is what I'm trying to get across, the values of, of appreciating your education, because for many of us here, it was not come by easily. Um, there were so many people here who were other non-traditional students coming on nights, coming on weekends, balancing you know, tight finances, kids, um, a full-time job, or whatever it took. But they needed that degree. They wanted that degree. They knew that was going to change their life so profoundly that they would do whatever it takes to complete that, that course in that course of action. So I look at that and I say, geez, it made me value my education. It's very hard to take it for granted when you are sitting next to someone that is working so hard to achieve this diploma and achieve this degree. I think the second thing is that it really taught me and reinforced, I mean, my parents have always been very active politically and in the community, but it underscored that whole commitment to the community and the value of community. At Worcester State, you stepped up, you joined in, and you also realized that you're part of something that was a little bit bigger than yourself. And I think that's very important for people to learn. And again, these are things that Worcester State dictates to you that you come as you come in. Um, it was just something that I think you gain from the student body that's here. 
And the third thing um, that really struck me was the value of hard work, and everyone's talked about that tonight, so I don't think this one's far off base, and I don't think the other two that I were talking about very far off base either. But you don't need a brand name degree if you're willing to work hard. And if you're willing to work hard, you're going to be successful, whether or not someone else has started at a higher level than you. You're going to work hard. And to echo what Vin was saying, and to echo what was Todd was saying and Steve, I've been in situations where I've been with other, um, with, with people who come from like top notch, you know, um, Newhouse School, SI Newhouse School at Syracuse, and I know that I'm as good at, or better than they are at what I do in terms of PR and marketing and all that other stuff that it says on those really long titles. So it just it really struck me. I mean, I think this is this is the currency of what this diploma, this education is. Um, as someone who's had an opportunity over the past several years to work with a very diverse set of people, diverse, I didn't say diverse, my mother's looking at me like there's no D on the end of diverse, I'm good. <laughs> it's hard to speak. But, um, you know, there are a lot of people who are out there in this world, and people have different circumstances and different backgrounds, um, and I, I believe that knowing what I took from Worcester State College, we should never, and we cannot, and we should not, underestimate the values that I think our students have intrinsically. I think that is so important. So I'm very grateful. I am blown away by this. I really, I thank you so much. Um, and I hope that that helps to connect the dots for you guys about why this is so meaningful to me. But I, I am very grateful. So thank you very, very much. Thank you.